What if you got loads of content on your page and you want some of the items to remain on the page while you're scrolling through? We're going to use uh, sticky column effects in a way. Not really sticky columns, we're just going to make some of our contents remain on the page and you'll see what I mean in a moment. I've got a test page here where I've got some text sat in column one. Column one at the moment has quite a lot going on in there and it's got a right margin of 55. If I just click this column, go to advanced 55, so we've got a bit of breathing space over on that side. Over here, we have nothing at the moment, but that's because what we're going to do is we're gonna add content in here and I'll show you what happens when you start scrolling and how this disappears and how we want it to stay on the page as we're still scrolling. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do though is let's just add in loads and loads of content over here. Column two, I've added in video, text, images, and some more videos. Now here's the problem. As you scroll up and down, can you see the content in column one has disappeared off the screen? And you're probably going, well, that's normal. That's how websites work. Yes, of course they do. But what if you want this information to remain? Let's pretend you've got like products over here, loads of trainers and hoodies. And over here, you've got your buttons to your shop. Buy now, here's your price, here's the extra details, once in a lifetime offer. You want them to see the images, but you don't want them to lose sight of the call to action button. Otherwise, you've got to repeat it again at the bottom, right? This is so simple and easy to do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this content now and stick that into an inner section. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna drop an inner section into column one. I'm gonna get rid of the second column because it only needs to be one column. I'm gonna to go to my inner section and I'm just gonna completely eradicate the margin and paddings, go to layout, make it full width with no gap. The reason I've done that is because it already sits within a column and that column already contains the margins and all of that as it is already. So I need to worry about that. I could now just pick up uh, all of these items and individually just drop them in. I could have done it another way if I'm honest as well, but we'll just do this. So now in column one, all of these items sit inside the inner section. We still have the 55 pixel margin because that is part of the original column. The inner section sits within that. But again, we still have the same problem. Scroll up and down, everything disappears, you know, it's not great. But this is what you do to sort it out. Because it's an inner section, if I go to advanced, and you'll know this because you normally do it with sections, you make it a sticky top. When you scroll now, okay, it all jumps to the top still. So there was still some movement. Okay, so it's moved, but it is still there. But by doing that, you've lost the effect that you had set out. This has some padding at the top. We've lost the padding when we scroll up. But again, that is so simple to do. Now there's many ways you could work this out. If I know this is 100 pixels from the top, so I'm gonna go back over to my inner section and I'm gonna offset this by 100. That's literally it. And if I now scroll, look at that. The reason I know it's 100 is because this originally section has a padding of 100 from the top, okay? If this was like, look, let me just make a point. If it was 120, I would put 120 in, okay? So I'm gonna leave that as 100 for now. So now that we've gone into this inner section and we've sent sticky to the top, offset 100, okay, let's update that. So now when we view it, okay, with all of our content over there, with our offset all in place, it's now scrolling absolutely fine. And watch, when we get down to the bottom, the second section scrolls over it, okay? Now, here's a word of warning. If you have made this section have a Z index say of 10, and this does not have a Z index, this text will still appear over it. Let me just show you what I mean. Let me go to my section and let me give it a Z index of, uh, let's just go with 10, all right? Let's just update that. Watch what happens to when we get to section two. The text is still there and now it's overlapping on all your other sections. Big, big problem, but don't worry about that. Either you go to section two and give it a higher Z index or you don't use Z indexes or and only put a Z index on the section where you did have the like the sticky effect going on if it really needed it. So just bear that in mind. If you've used Z indexes, just make sure you account for them accordingly. But what we now have is loads of images and stuff going on over here on the right hand side. You know, we've got a video playing there or whatever. Then you get to the next section and we have that effect going on there, okay? So that is a really simple, easy way to do it using inner section. I believe me, I know there are other plugins and there is CSS code as well. 
But if you just want to do it really quick and easy, this is how you do it. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and get sticky.